I remember 15 to 1 being this uh, incredible program that always seemed to be on where lots and lots of people um, in suits and ties or maybe slacks and things like that were asked the hardest questions they could possibly be asked by a very strict man. And I was only pleased that I could sit there and watch it as a child and go, that will never happen to me. <laughs> and it happened to me. And I think a lot of students watched that programme because they wanted to know how intelligent they were. And so you play along with it and see how many of the questions you could answer. What I remember about 15 to 1 is that if you were watching it, you were invariably ill because it was a daytime show. I have really fond memories of when I first came to England, sitting down in the afternoon and watching this quiz show and becoming strangely addicted to it. And it wasn't until, when, even when they asked me to host 15 to 1, I wasn't sure what it was. And then I went online and went, oh my God, that show. Yeah, yeah, that was the show I used to watch every day. I was a big fan of William G. Stewart, who I thought was kind of a very unusual host, but very good at what he did. In fact, I think, if I'm not wrong, he was a producer on the show, wasn't he? And then he did a few practice ones presenting it when they were rehearsing and then they just thought, oh, he'll do. So that's why he's kind of not that presenter-ish. I don't remember very much, but I do remember William's um, glasses. They seemed to be huge, because in the 80s everyone wore huge glasses. So I remember that, and then the, the rules, I never quite got to grips with those. Mm, don't think I did this evening either. <laughs>